Hey friends, so we are here to talk about our essential question of how do weather friends affect weather? Uh, of course, remember to pause and rewind as needed so that way you can have appropriate understanding. And of course, make sure that you have something to write on, something to write with, so that way you can take any relevant notes. Uh, and of course, use these during our practice and apply. All right, so we're gonna be talking about pressure systems and fronts. Um, so just to kind of remind ourselves, remember low pressure is when I have lower air pressure. Remember, we can measure that air pressure with which weather tool? Yes, that weather tool is the barometer. Um, and so low pressure systems normally bring stormy weather and strong winds, while high pressure system brings fair weather. And then we have two types of fronts, which are warm fronts and cold fronts. Remember, uh, we name that front based on what kind of air mass is replacing. So when a warm air mass is coming in, I have a warm front. When a cold air mass is coming in, I have a cold front. So when I'm looking at these different types, each one affects weather in a different way. So when I'm looking at first my pressure system, so with a high pressure system, my cold air is sinking. So remember, my air is going down like this, and I'm going to get fair weather. Remember, we talked about high pressure. My thumb would be going up to show high, just like a thumbs up, and so it's nice weather. Thumbs up, high pressure, fair weather. With low pressure, my warm air is going up, and so I'm going to have low pressure, which is bad or stormy weather. Again, my thumb would be going down to show that it's low, thumbs down, bad weather. And then when I'm thinking about my warm front, or my fronts, excuse me, so again, warm front is warm air is replacing that cold air, and this is drizzle and clouds. Remember, when it gets warm or when it gets humid, that's a good way for us to remember this. When it gets warm and humid, that's when we start to see those clouds, that icky weather, that drizzle. So yes, sometimes it does cause warmer temperatures, but the main thing that we have to think about is that that warm front is going to bring drizzle and clouds. When, <coughs> excuse me, when a cold front comes in, we get that cooler weather. All right, friends, remember to pause, rewind as needed, and of course, reach out to me with any questions, and when you're ready, go ahead and move on to our practice and our reply.